Warren Buffett's investment advice is timeless and his strategies continue to help him generate profits. With about 80 years of experience investing in the stock market and having learned from other successful investors, there are some valuable pieces of information to be considered. By listening to some of Buffett's advice, investors can avoid these two common mistakes and maximize their profits. Watch to the end to hear what Buffett recommends to most investors looking to create a well-sized portfolio. My name is Chris, and I help teach people about money, personal finance, and investing. If you're interested in improving your financial future, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if this video is helpful. Invest in what you know. One of the easiest ways to make an avoidable mistake is to invest in something you know nothing about. Whether it's an investment that's too complicated for the average person to understand or it's just something you don't know much about, it's best to stay away. This could pertain to various parts of the stock market, but it doesn't stop there. Investments come in many forms, such as small businesses, real estate, gold, cryptocurrency, and endless other avenues. An expert in startups could make a fortune doing so, but that doesn't mean it would be profitable for everyone. When it comes to stocks, only purchase businesses that you have a thorough understanding of their business model and how they make money. Never compromise on quality. Sticking to buying what you know is pretty easy to do, but analyzing the quality of an investment is more difficult. It's extremely important to know if you're buying a high-quality asset because a stock or industry that appears to be cheap isn't always a good opportunity. Investors are often enticed by high dividend yields or extremely low prices in relation to their peers' stocks. This is sometimes a sign of a discounted stock, but high-quality assets don't often go on sale. You're better off paying a higher price for a high-quality stock than a cheap price for a low-quality stock. Plan to hold a stock forever. Once a high-quality asset is purchased, you want to plan on holding onto it forever. As Buffett said, if you're not thinking about owning a stock for 10 years, don't even think about holding it for 10 minutes. The reason for this is that you want to have the highest degree of certainty that it will be a profitable investment. Purchasing an investment that you're not absolutely sure about or have any doubts about increases your risk dramatically. Additionally, buying and selling investments eats away at returns primarily due to taxes. Of course, even high-quality companies hit some bumps in the road that could alter their destiny, such as heavy regulation, rising competition, or the loss of an important member of management. However, the higher quality the business, the less likely something like this will be detrimental. Diversification can be dangerous. The advice comes from all over to diversify, diversify, diversify. This is a good idea if you have no idea what you're buying. Buffett believes in diversifying across a short list of companies in various industries, but he still puts a large amount of money into assets with the highest conviction. Berkshire Hathaway currently has about 40% of its assets in Apple stock. Some investors overly diversify their portfolio, but the fact is, the more stocks you own, the more difficult it is to keep track of their fundamentals. It's absolutely a good idea to own more than one or two stocks, but there is a tipping point when you could be too diversified. How are you going to invest in what you know with hundreds of individual stocks in your portfolio? Most news is just noise. There are constant news headlines that can make investors wary. Just take a look at the market on any given day and you'll see things are either up or down based on one piece of news, whether it be good or bad. The news doesn't even need to be substantial either. This also happens on a smaller scale when it comes to individual stocks. Does it really matter if one of your holdings had slightly disappointing earnings? It could be a sign of poor future performance, but shareholders tend to overreact. When something like that happens, you need to ask yourself if it's relevant to the long term. Will it be a big deal in 3, 5, or 10 years down the road? Most of the news headlines and things on TV are only presented to trigger emotions and ultimately get higher ratings. In reality, most of the stories won't matter in the long term. It's a good idea to read up on current events here and there, but don't take them too seriously. Investing isn't rocket science. One of the biggest misconceptions about investing in the stock market is that only professional investors can successfully choose stocks. This is partially true primarily due to the fact that so many individual investors buy things knowing very little about what they're buying. Anyone willing to put in some effort and do the proper research has a good chance of success. 
Buffett says that investing is not a game where the guy with the 160 IQ beats the guy with the 130 IQ. Investors should have realistic expectations and know that there are no shortcuts with investing and anything that appears to be the perfect opportunity should be a red flag. There is no single magic formula that can generate market-beating returns. Even so, anyone willing to put in some effort and do the proper research can invest successfully. Price is different than value. Stock prices are easy to find, but what takes a little more digging is finding the fundamentals of a company. Seeing the price of a stock without having more information is completely useless. The stock market is run on emotions, and at times there are stocks that are overpriced and there are stocks that are underpriced, even though the value remains largely unchanged. This can even be said about the stock market as a whole. During recessions, the overall market is sometimes on sale because people are overly emotional and are quick to sell everything right away. The opposite can happen when the economy is booming and everything is going well, making many of the investments overpriced. Stock prices swing with investors' emotions, but that doesn't mean the future of a company has changed. The key is to be able to determine the value of a company, which will ultimately allow you to decide if the price is too high or too low. If you are buying a house, you wouldn't just look at the price without considering the location, size, condition, and other factors that would play into its value. The best moves are boring. Don't invest in the stock market with the goal to get rich quick. It's more so designed to provide moderate returns over a long period of time. Investing isn't meant to be particularly exciting, and it's probably better if it isn't, because that way, you're able to leave the emotion out of it. The goal of an investor should be to find quality stocks or funds that will grow steadily over time, which will allow your money to compound over and over. It can be enticing to invest in something speculative that has the potential to make you wealthy overnight, but this should be treated no different than the lottery. When you amass a well-sized portfolio, the last thing you want to do is gamble it all away. Unfortunately, when people are presented with the apparent opportunity of a lifetime, their emotions get the best of them. Index funds are best for most investors. Most investors fail to beat the market for various reasons. It could be that they're overly emotional, taking too much risk, or investing in something they don't know much about. Making a safe and profitable investment does take a significant amount of knowledge and research. Sometimes it just doesn't make sense for someone to choose individual stocks. Buying an S&P 500 index fund is an excellent alternative and one that Buffett recommends for most investors. For people who don't have the time or want to learn how to choose individual stocks, this is a fantastic option. Buffett believes that the long-term returns of the S&P 500 will be superior to pension funds, institutions, and individuals. With an average return of about 10% per year, this is a great choice. Stick to what you know, invest with a long-term mindset, and avoid being overly emotional. Implement these simple but extremely useful pieces of advice from Buffett, the investor with perhaps the most years of investment experience of any professional in recent history. Whether you choose to buy individual stocks, funds, or even a different type of investment entirely, his advice can be utilized to make profitable decisions.